Dr. Johnny Karnapalli, uh, HOD and uh, Medical Director of Metanoia Diabetes and Lifestyle Disease Research Institute at Kochi and Visiting Professor from Lakeshore Hospital, Kochi. Uh, my second talk in the National Conference of RSSDI was on insoles in diabetic foot management. We all talk about lots about diabetic uh, footwears, but the role of insoles are huge. A lot of studies have shown that insole has a major role to play in reducing the ulcer formations in our diabetic patients. Now, first of all, we need to categorize our patients. A patient coming to your clinic, we have to make sure whether they have neuropathy. Depending on the severity of the neuropathy, we can divide your patients into normal or low risk, medium risk and high risk uh, foot patients. A normal foot patient does a diabetic foot patient or a normal neuropathy does not require uh, additional insole or a diabetic footwear. He can go on with the normal footwear. But as he progresses in the years of life with diabetes, slowly his nerves can get affected and then the plantar pressure can change in the sole of the foot. In a normal person, the plantar pressure is evenly distributed throughout the sole of the foot, which is a God-given facility to our foot whereby we don't form ulcers under the feet in spite of bearing the whole weight of our body onto that sole. But unfortunately, once diabetes affects the nerves of our body, then the peak plantar pressure changes in different locations under the sole of the foot. And there will be areas where there are higher plantar, peak plantar pressures. And these areas, if the patient walks repeatedly on that peak plantar area, pressure areas, then that areas can become thickened and which is called a callus. And then la later on, it can go in for an ulceration. And then later on, this patient will be recurrently getting ulcerations which can also lead to amputations and a lot of studies have clearly shown 84 percent of the patients going for amputations have proceeded with an ulcer and if we could have prevented that ulcer maybe we could have prevented 84 percent of our patients going in for amputations a simple technique is to reduce that panda pressure high plantar pressure which is causing this problem. So how do we do it? It's very simple. We, we, are, we have got gadgets now as Harris mat or even pedo plantar equipments which can detect the peak plantar pressure. And if you can give an insole uh, which can reduce that plantar pressure and evenly distribute that pressure throughout the sole, then the chances of ulcer formation, the chances of callus formation also can be reduced. Thereby, we are saving our diabetic patients from ulcerations which leads to amputations. So, uh, 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 insole, a simple thing like a silicone insole or various kinds of insoles are available in the market. Uh, 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 Prefabricated Insoles are available and custom made insoles as the patient becomes deformed, the foot becomes deformed, then you have to individualize for that patient the insole by molding according to his foot shape, according to the defect of the foot, we can also make foot uh, insoles. So thereby reduce the um, pressures in the ulcer. So uh, even wearing a socks. Uh, cotton socks in a shoe or a footwear has found as a as a thin layer which can reduce the shear stress which can also uh, act as a uh, first layer of insole between your footwear and your sole 
and additionally if you can give an insole uh, which can reduce the peak plantar pressures this can go a long way in protecting the feet of your diabetic patients thank you very much